they're an invasive species. They are a, uh, an insect that sucks the life out of a, of a grapevine and they're a threat because they can come in with numbers that can basically kill a, a vineyard. It builds populations quickly, it spreads quickly, it's highly mobile, and it, uh, it affects crops that you love. Hops, grapes, uh, fruit trees, uh, even maple. Uh, so it's a concern for the agricultural industry. It was first detected in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, where it slowly spread from there, either naturally through its own movement or moving with human assistance. It has now moved up through the Hudson Valley in New York, up into the Capital District, and it's moved further west, out towards Rochester, Buffalo, and the Finger Lakes. We grow the uh, three different types or families of grapes. We grow Native Americans, the Concords, the Niagara's. The, the blending of vinifera and uh, Native American called hybrids. Also, we grow viniferas like Riesling, Pinot Noir, Cab Franc, Gewurztraminer. We grow just a tad over 100 acres and uh, it's roughly about 70,000 grapevines. So harvest is the busiest time for us in the winemaking industry, but it's just the tip of the iceberg as far as the whole process goes. Once the grapes are picked, we have to process the fruit, which happens as soon as they're picked generally. So we will crush them and destem them and then press them typically if it's gonna be a white wine. And then if they're gonna be reds, they go back into fermenters and ferment on the skins. So those will go right into fermentation. The whites we clarify first, and then we'll move on to the fermentation step. And then after that, we can move on to things such as blending, filtering, and stabilizing uh, before moving on to bottling, which starts usually early to mid-spring and goes right up until the following harvest. We opened our doors in 1989, and we grew from about 4,500 gallons that first year and employing just a couple family members to uh, over 100,000 gallons today and about 26 people in the winery. We are still an entirely family owned and operated business, uh, employing a lot of family members, but also a lot of, a lot of people that have just become family because they've been working here for a long time. This farm has been in my family for 71 years. We've been growing grapes and uh, we do have another generation that uh, is coming up through. Uh, we would like to hand this farm on to the next generation. And this is, could be the serious threat to, to the farm operation, uh, the employees that work here. It's not just affecting agriculture, uh, it's effect, gonna affect everybody. Uh, right now, our only defense against them, well, there's multiple. One is uh, by, by keeping them out of here, uh, is number one. Uh, the number two is once they get into a vineyard, the only way we can really deal with them is, is use of insecticides. And that is one of the big things that we don't want to do. My workers in the vineyards have been trained to, to look for them uh, so that we can hopefully spot them before they become an issue. And uh, we are heavily promoting uh, people to keep an eye out and, and, and doing what we're supposed to, kill and report. Spotted Lanternfly is a really great hitchhiker. All the life stages we have found on vehicles, train cars, anything of that nature that moves around, outdoor equipment. So what we really need people to do is if they're in an area where we know they're spotted lanternfly, we just ask that they check over those objects, you know, when they're traveling in their vehicle, check over your vehicle and all the little nooks and crannies and places that they could hide out. The egg mass is as well. Spotted lanternfly lays eggs on just about anything. And if you happen to pick up and move from an infested area to a non-infested area, it's possible you can bring spotted lanternfly with you. So if you're in Westchester, New York City, and Long Island, step on it, squish it, don't hesitate to kill it. Mid Hudson Valley, Lower Hudson Valley, you know, similar, squish it, kill it, don't hesitate to stomp on that bug. As you move further north to the capital region, to Adirondacks, and move west into the Finger Lakes and going into western New York, please report it. If you see it, take a picture and report it to our website at the Department of Ag and Markets. We want to know about it, we want to know where it is, and we will send someone out to follow up on the report. We are asking all New Yorkers, if you see spotted lanternfly, to squish it, report it, check your vehicle, and help us slow the spread.